Good morning. This is Kello Land on the go with all you need to know in news and weather as you start your day. A Hurley area farmer with a long history of harassing women will be back in court today. 70-year-old Greg Farrar recently pleaded guilty to having sexual contact with a Freeman woman without consent. Farrar has a history of stalking and harassing women. He was first convicted in 1998. During today's sentencing, some of Farrar's past victims have told us they'll be speaking in court. A judge has granted our request to allow audio of the hearing to be made public. You will be able to listen live on Kelloland.com as soon as the sentencing gets underway this morning. We will also bring you full coverage throughout the day. A stolen vehicle led the Lincoln County Sheriff's Office to a deadly crash over the weekend. Authorities say it happened just before 5 o'clock Saturday morning in the area of 291st Street and 468th Avenue. The vehicle was reported stolen from a nearby farm. Deputies suspected that the person who stole the vehicle had been involved in a crash. Nearby roads were searched and the scene was found just after 5.30 a.m. Officials say a pickup had left the road and struck a field approach. It then rolled multiple times and multiple people were thrown from the pickup. Two people were dead when a deputy arrived on scene. A third person died on scene a short time later. The fourth person was found at a home in Beersford hours later. Due to his injuries from the crash, he was taken to a local hospital. The incident is under investigation. If you have any information, you are asked to call the Lincoln County Sheriff's Office. We hope to learn more information about a weekend crash in Sioux Falls that sent a child to the hospital. It happened Friday night at the intersection of West 12th Street and South Kiwanis Avenue. Police say the driver of a Hyundai Genesis ran a red light and crashed into a Chevy Malibu. A four-year-old inside the Malibu was thrown from the car. The child was taken to the hospital with non-life-threatening injuries. Police have charged the driver of the Genesis, 33-year-old Nathan Early, with DWI and vehicular battery. We hope to get an update on the investigation at this morning's police briefing. You can watch it live right here on Kelloland.com starting at 10.30. Now let's send it over to meteorologist Brian Karstens for a check of this morning's weather. A chilly start to the day, Brian. Yeah, so a colder start to the day, but it still looks to be fairly mild this afternoon. Let's take a look at your forecast. 45 in Sioux Falls today, 43 Mitchell, 48 are expected high in winter and about the same in Rapid City, close to 48 and a northwest wind at 15 to 30. Well, that's a quick look at weather. We'll get to uh, a fairly mild seven day forecast and that's coming up in just a few minutes. Thank you, Brian. Well, South Dakota may be more familiar with tornadoes than earthquakes, but residents in the southeastern part of the state felt the ground rumble over the weekend. The United States Geological Survey says a 3.0 magnitude earthquake rumbled near Wakanda Sunday afternoon. Officials say the depth of the earthquake was 8.3 kilometers or just over five miles deep. The USGS says people usually begin to feel earthquakes at that 3.0 magnitude. Students in the College of Engineering at SDSU are celebrating an out-of-this-world achievement. Since early last year, the team Space Trajectory has been working to build a space rover for the Break the Lunar Ice competition. NASA is hosting this worldwide engineering contest to harvest water from the moon. The team sent their research to NASA in the summer and waited months for their results. This week, they found out that not only did space trajectory tie for runner-up, but they will also continue forward in the competition. The team has been working to design and add new additions to their rover. Associate Professor Todd Letcher says he is proud of all the work his students have done for this project. We're really happy with how far we've made it. We are a team of students, so there's really nobody that even has an engineering degree yet on the team, and we're able to compete with these other teams and, and do pretty well with it, too. The team also received a cash prize of $75,000. Space Trajectory will be heading to one of the 10 NASA facilities in the spring. And that's a look at some of our top stories. Now let's get one last look at your weather with meteorologist Brian Karstens. Brian? 
All right, our weather update today. Well, looking at the forecast, pretty dry outlook here for Kettle Land and temperatures into the 40s this afternoon. Sioux Falls, by midday, we should be close to 40, and I think right around 45 seems pretty reasonable given the, the temperature trends. Even yesterday, we were at 39. And then you look to the west, it'll be just a little warmer than that toward Phillip and possibly winter nearing 50 degrees. Now, tonight and tomorrow, there is a cold front that's moving through. That will reduce our temperature forecast just a few degrees. We could call it near normal tomorrow. It'll start off in the lower to middle teens in the morning and then by the afternoon. We'll probably fall short of 35 in Sioux Falls. I would say probably just between 30 and 35. Aberdeen in the northeast might even stay in the upper 20s most of the day. So, yeah, that's a little colder, but that's a temporary setback. Mild air is the story. It's going to come in waves. We're going to see another surge uh, entering the picture here uh, Wednesday, Thursday into Friday, and then we might see a little reset. But frankly, for the weekend, nothing major is changing. This is going to be the weather setup for several days, and that's going to take out most of the clock before Christmas, isn't it? We'll see what happens. Not ruling out a white Christmas, but I'm just telling you that that's kind of where we're sitting here, at least on days one through 10. That's your snow forecast. There's more snow in New Mexico and northwestern Texas than South Dakota. Highs today, 45 in Yankton, 39 Brookings, here's your seven-day forecast. No rain, no snow, 40s to near 50 degrees, several opportunities for that kind of weather starting again Wednesday through the weekend. Aberdeen, not much different than Sioux Falls. We'll see how much that North Dakota snowpack, how quickly that erases. I think it'll it'll start to disappear, though. It looks like it'll be warm enough for that. So then that tends to kind of take the pressure off of these cooler days. And for Pier and Rapid City, it's a numbers game, basically 45 to 50, uh, starting there Wednesday, easily into the 50s on Thursday. And sure, there could be more of that. Easily Rapid City, I would not be surprised if we end up raising that number to about 60 on Saturday. Check out the details with the rest of your weather online at kettleland.com.